Hi everyone. I was thinking about doing this video in real time because I thought the video wouldn't be uh, too long. But it turned out to be a footage of about 30 minutes and I guessed that was a little bit too long. So here I am doing a voice over. So the weird hand gestures you see me do on the video, well, that's because I am talking to the camera and explaining you things. So today I'm making the mixed media morsel number four and I'm using my beer coaster again. And um, I've added some pieces of book text because I think that will give a very nice effect later on when this uh, technique is done. So um, what you do is using a white glue, any white glue, a school glue. Um, I'm using a tacky glue here and you make marks, uh, stripes or circles or squares, whatever you like in a quite a thick steady line. Now I chose uh, to do a word, the word love, and um, I am hoping that once the glue is dry, the letters from the book text will show through. So that's an experiment which will work eventually. And now I am cleaning up a bit uh, some of the paint, the thicker blobs I am removing. And so this I need to dry and I've done that overnight. So it's really good and dried. And as you can see, the glue has flattened out a bit and it's also more transparent. And I could already see at this point that the letters from the book text are showing through. So that I was very happy with. Now I am adding paint and this is an acrylic metallic paint I had watered down. Um, I made a sort of fluid acrylic paint with that uh, color, but that was way too transparent on the surface. So I just took out the bottle and um, added it um, again. And as you can see, uh, I'm using a baby wipe now to uh, remove the paint from the letters. And that is very uh, easy to do. It, it, it doesn't really uh, grab onto the glue, the paint. And that's the point of this technique, the glue resist technique. Now, um, this is a silver metallic one, an acrylic paint also by Artist & Co. Trying to blend it in with the pink, red, red pinkish color. And um, as you can see, uh, the book text is showing through a bit through the paint, but also through the letters. So. I'm very happy with that. So this is some very thin wire. I I think I bought it from Action at, uh, at one point. Uh, it had little flowers on it, which I cut off. And what's left is a very fine wa wire. So I used a piece of that. And first I glued down uh, a little heart-shaped piece of lace and then this wire and I made a little heart from cardboard which I stamped on and inked the edges a bit and now a little word tag is going on top and then I am using my little needle bottle and that is a homemade acrylic fluid paint uh, basically just paint with water and with that little needle bottle I can write uh, some words uh, with it. I could have used my Signo Uniball pen but that pen 
does not work when I want it to work, so I didn't took the risk. And as these are my inspiration prompt cards as well, I am gluing down a piece of pattern paper on the back side and uh, there will, on top of that, will go my prompt, which is about the glue resist technique, of course. So I am outlining the prompt and I'm going to etch ink, paint, sorry. I'm going to paint the edges because it's an acrylic paint and I use a little sponge and I am dapping uh, around the edges. So basically uh, this is it for mixed media morsel number four. Uh, this one will um, go with the rest of my little morsels. I have made four so far, still have a lot of catching up to do, but if you like to know more about these morsels, I will leave you some links in the descriptions box to Cat Hand's channel because she um, makes these morsels and also to the Facebook group. So thanks again for watching. I hope you liked it and uh, see you again next time. Bye bye.